Our team is designing and building a cold spray metal 3D printer, which uses a process um, that involves velocity instead of heat to adhere material. In that way, we're able to produce parts that have much higher mechanical strength than um, traditional metal 3D printing methods. Traditional metal 3D printers use a laser to melt metal powder into a particular shape, but when you melt metal, you change a lot of its properties, and so the parts that those systems produce are not as robust. We're using nitrogen. It comes from a tank and goes into our primary pressure vessel. This is heated to 450 degrees Celsius. It's at 850 PSI, and then it goes through our rocket nozzle. So we've decided that the parabolic nozzle is gonna work better and is more machinable. Once the, the gas goes through the throat of the nozzle, it will be at around room pressure and below room temperature, but moving at close to Mach 3. So this will accelerate the copper particles to over 550 meters per second, and that will have high enough critical velocity to stick when it impacts our substrate. If just one part in an entire car can't be delivered, the entire car can't be sold, and that's a huge cost. 3D printing provides incredible flexibility in being able to produce those kinds of one-off parts or singular parts that can be then implemented so that car can be sold. One of the benefits of our design compared to other options is that it's really inexpensive. This entire system was built um, off of a budget of about $5,000, and current systems like this cost well over a million. So we'd be able to bring costs down by several orders of magnitude and really let something like the automotive industry use our product at scale so they could buy several of these and implement them as a really important part of their manufacturing system.